Good, thank you. Where are you in the world? I'm in Toronto. I'm in Toronto. Amazing. So here in the UK, um, the next generation, the 17, 18 year olds just received their A-level results. And about 40% of students got downgraded because um, of the way that the government have changed the algorithms. Okay. So we're having a bit of a discussion. and I'd love to know your thoughts about how important you think results are at school. I think um, your actions have to map to your ambitions. So I think for some people, school is insanely important. Like if you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be an accountant, uh, you can't go be a lawyer if you didn't go to law school. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but for other people, it's not important. If you want to be an entrepreneur, it doesn't really map. You know, I went, I went to university. Nobody asked me what university I went to. Nobody cares in, in my line of business. Um, I didn't go get an MBA or a PhD, and it's never been an issue for anything that I've done. So it depends on what you want to do. You know, if you're in a traditional field that requires education, then, then you have to go off and do it uh, or pick a different career. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, it doesn't really matter that much, then it's, it's, only, it's only getting less important. I mean, I'm 40, so this was 20 years ago now when I was... And <laughs> I'm bringing you back in time a little bit. Back in time. And, and even then, it, wasn't, it was slowly losing its relevancy. But especially now, there's, there's no... Uh, for most entrepreneurial professions, um, it doesn't matter where you're from. And I think young people already have more respect than they ever did. If you want to do a social media marketing agency, for example, you're not going to learn anything in university. Agreed. Like, My marketing course didn't even cover social media. You're not going to learn how to be an entrepreneur in school. Uh, and it's taught, I mean, even when I was in school, my marketing, my entrepreneur professor had a part-time business. Like my business was already doing better than his business and he's teaching <laughs> this class. Um, so you're not gonna learn much about how to, how to run a business or be a marketer in, in university. But, you know, 18, 19 year olds now actually have the respect. You know, if you're, if you're selling to 40, 50, 60 year old social media marketing services, they expect to go to a young person. They're not hiring a 50 year old to run their Facebook campaigns. They're hiring young people. True. So, <laughs> so it, but, but you're not going to hire a 19 year old to do surgery on you. Right. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you want to go off and do. And, and so young people have never had as much respect, I think now. Um, and just what do you want to do? Like for people trying to figure this out, where do you want to go in life? And if you want to be a doctor and you, you need to get the education, then you, then you deal with it and you, you're going to get hit with blows like this and you get back up and you keep going. But if you want to be an entrepreneur and start your own business, then start working on it right now. Mm, and what would you say to everyone who's just kind of a great advice, by the way, like I a hundred percent agree with you. And I, I know it sounds awful and I should never say this out loud, but I stopped listening to one of my business lectures when I drove in with a nicer car than he did. And I'm not saying that because of the materialistic of it, but I want to, I want to learn when it comes to business with, of someone who's running a successful business or yeah. if they've done it in their past, you know? Yeah, so you're looking at whoever you're learning from, have they done the thing that you want, just in general? You're not going to yeah. take health advice from somebody who's massively overweight, you know, or workout advice from somebody who obviously doesn't work out. But this is the thing. Everybody has an opinion on what you should do. Your parents, mm -hmm. your friends, your community will all say, you should go do this. If you give them your business idea, I want to start a business doing this. They say, well, no, you shouldn't do that. You should go do that. Well, who are you listening to? Have they done the thing? If they've done it, then they have perspective that you might want to learn from. If they haven't done it, then if anything, you should probably do the opposite of what they're telling you to do. <laughs> of what they've said. Because they don't like know it. So, yeah. 100%. So many students go to university because that's what's the, the supposed called normal like because my parents told me because my teachers have told me but actually when i'm hiring somebody i didn't ask what they got in their gccs or their a levels i wouldn't know what kind of person they are yeah so again it's just figuring out what is your dreams what are your goals and then is this path going to get you there and if it's not then find like then it doesn't make sense to go in for another three years of university to then not like have a piece of paper that doesn't make a difference for your career. Mm -hmm. so. And what would you also say, like, imagine that you 
had this like idea in your head right now. So you're 18 years old, so a couple of years ago, <laughs> and you opened up this piece of paper and you thought you were going to go to university for the next few years of your life. And you've realized that you're not going to get in. And everything just kind of freezes around you because you've got, you've just spent six months in isolation because of coronavirus. And now you, your supposed future, which we thought was going to happen. What would you say to everyone who, who just had that like big hit that it's just not going to go the way they thought it was? Yeah. Uh, I've got, I've got to pop on a call super quick, but um, I would just say <laughs> be surrounded by people who make you feel like it's possible. Like, if you love Sabrina, watch more Sabrina. She's not going to come on and tell you that you suck and to give up on your dreams and to not go anywhere. She's going to give you hope and inspiration. And maybe the path that you were on wasn't actually the right fit for you and you need to move to something else. And the more you're around go-getters who are like Sabrina, giving you motivation, giving you encouragement, telling you that it's possible, will start to shape your belief. Because the problem is it's a, men it's a mental game. You don't think you're capable of doing something else. And you need to surround yourself, even even as virtual. Like your friends might suck, your parents might suck, but you can be around uh, people like Sabrina, people who you're watching online, who give you that motivation. Be around that more, and they'll lead you to the right path. Have an amazing advice. I'll let you go, but thanks for jumping on. Love it. Love what you're doing, Sabrina. <laughs> Keep it up. Take thanks. care. Bye. Bye. You too. And are we back? We're back. Amazing. Well, I just thought it'd be, um, for anyone who doesn't know Evan, if you've ever watched a, um, a motivational video on YouTube or like a little montage of really successful mindset or entrepreneurial coaches, it was probably done by Evan. So if you aren't giving him a little follow on YouTube, then I think he's got like one or two million subscribers. He's doing pretty, pretty well. But back to the UK conversation, and I really want to find about what, how you guys have felt today and what you're doing and what your thoughts are on the education system in the UK as a whole. Um, I think we're going to have this conversation maybe five to, maybe five more minutes I think we're going to go for. Otherwise, my voice uh, may be changing up. Okay, what is everybody saying? Oh, I have a disagreement. I love it. Uh, Mr. Dip says, I disagree. Doctors tend to be the worst when it comes to health for themselves. Making them overweight doesn't mean you have to listen to them. They're experts in their field. Yeah, I think the, the point that was trying to be displayed is if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a lawyer, then you have to go to university. And if you wanted to go down that particular profession, then, you know, going to university is a must so it means yeah you might have to reset or take a gap year but i think that was more of a message to anybody who wasn't really sure what they wanted to do or if they wanted to start their own business because then necessarily university wasn't a must uh good evening zara i hope you're well um let's have a little look i'm just going to scroll down Dun -dun -dun. miss camria says you don't need a degree to be successful i agree right let's have a little look alex says could do better easily led astray i have no idea alex <laughs> what that message is about or where it's come from let me know what you guys think uh stephen says i need a patient's uh feet piece of paper felt piece of paper to tell you you're smart yeah i think the way that the education system firstly there's so many flaws because we're tested as if we're exactly the same as somebody else. And what somebody puts on a piece of paper shouldn't define the kind of person that they are. So I think there's a whole muck up within the education system ourselves. However, today we're specifically talking about if you didn't get into university, why is it not the end of the world? And what are you going to do about it? Okay, let's bring it over here. Um, Mark says, my results are poor. Eight years later, I'm now a clinical psychologist learn from it time to excel amazing i love that i think it's it's really interesting actually what you can achieve or can't achieve and when i say that i mean in the sense of university because university there are positives and there are negatives positive means that you're going to have a so-called amazing time at university the social life the uh, you're going to going to get a degree right you're going to hopefully learn you're going to make new friends you're going to get that amazing side of independence 
But on the flip side of that, if you didn't get into university because you were downgraded, and let's be real here, 40% of the UK were downgraded in their grades, you're not missing out on Freshers' Week this year because there's no Freshers' Week. And Freshers' Week, everyone just goes and drinks loads of alcohol, gets out their system, gets laid, whatever they do in Freshers' Week. Um, it's not the end of the world. And if you are going to university, how do you feel about missing out on Freshers' Week? That is a, that is a very good question. Right, couple of last comments here. Um, I'm going to bring it over here. Again, another one on GCSEs. So anyone who is, um, send me a little heart or something if you're about to wait for your GCSE results next week. And for GCSE results, your GCSE results, really the only matters to that you get into universe, uh, into college or to your apprenticeship. So I wouldn't worry too much about them. And I just feel that there's so much pressure that's put on us as kids when really we've been in a freaking global pandemic. If you've got a B instead of an A, What's the worst that can happen? Okay. I'm also running out of battery, so we're going to finish up very quick. Uh, Mitchell says, not going to university as I'm not going to get my, myself into unnecessary debt. My stepsister has got 63K of debt right now. That's, that's a lot of debt. I mean, for me, I went to uni. I studied my master's. I paid it up front so that I could run a loophole with the education system. So I have an MBA with that, an undergrad. And... I'm not in any debt. I worked my whole way through university and paid off everything. So it's not a bad decision. And imagine, Mitchell, if you want to start a business, instead of spending 63K at university, 63K is a lot of money in terms of a startup loan, right? Why don't we have the option? Oh my gosh, why don't we have the option from the government that instead of having to pay 27K into university, that they could give us 27 great and start up a business. How freaking thriving would be the, U uh, the UK if we had that option? Um, Stephen says, it's not everyone, but we still need university. Of course we need the university. I 100% think we need university, but it just depends on what you want to do after. Um, let's have a little look. What's the point of uni if you ain't going to freshers? I agree. Lots of famous people never went to university. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates. Didn't know that, but here we go. Right, everyone. That is it for this evening. Uh, I'm going to put this on my story or my feed, one of the two, for 24, ID, uh, 24 hours. So please feel free to message, to share, uh, tag LBC if you fancy it, if you want to see me as a host, or tag the Conservatives if you can see me as a future MP. I reckon I'd be a good Prime Minister. I reckon I would do okay. Probably get a bit lost, but there we go. Have an amazing evening. Um, and a final summary, if you didn't get into university today, well, if you did get into university, congratulations. I am so excited for you. If you got the A-level results you got, congratulations. And if you didn't, it's going to be okay. And the positives about not getting this year into university... There's going to be no freshers. You take a gap year and you can travel the world like I did. Or you can reassess what you want to do and take a year out for yourself. Because you're never going to get that time back. Have an amazing evening. Um, send me a DM if you found this useful or informative. Share it with anybody who needs to hear it. And relax. Have a drink. It's all going to be okay. <laughs>